The Cezanne Gaspar jumper has become one of my favorite pieces in my spring capsule. I have found it to be incredibly versatile. It's obviously very high quality because Cezanne is a very high quality brand. It is super warm and it's one of those pieces that whenever I'm not sure what I'm going to wear, I find myself pulling it out of my drawer and finding a new way to style it. And I have been able to find so many different ways to work with the sweater that I figured it deserved its own video. So in this edition of Work Weekend Date, I'm going to show you how you can style the Cezanne Gaspard sweater in many different ways for many different occasions. And if you did watch my spring capsule wardrobe video, you might remember that I did have a little bit of trouble with the sizing of the sweater. I had originally ordered something based on the size chart on the website and it didn't quite fit and I had to go to a couple of different sizes before finding the best one. But I will tell you a little bit more about that later in the video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Fernanda and I make videos to help you build a wardrobe that you love and I also show you how to make the most of it. So if you're into that, don't forget to subscribe. You can hit the diamond over here to do so. Let's get to it. Starting with a work outfit. For this video, I didn't want to limit myself to using only the pieces in my spring capsule, so you will see a few pieces from my wardrobe that you haven't seen in a while. I'm starting with a basic pair of black jeans and a tank top, and of course, Gaspard buttoned all the way up, and then I'm turning it backwards. What I love about the sweater backwards is that it just looks like a pullover with an interesting detail in the back, but it still looks like a very nice sweater in the front. I'm styling it with some jewelry, particularly when I have my sleeves rolled up. I like adding bracelets and stacking those necklaces. I love this sweater. I have the sage green color, but it comes in 16 different colors. This sweater would be a great addition to any capsule wardrobe. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Suzanne, but if anybody from Suzanne is watching, hook me up. I'm French tucking the sweater just to give it a little bit of style, and this would work well with either booties or flats, but for this one, I chose to go with the booties. And there you go. I feel like this is such an easy work outfit, something you can just throw on in the morning super easily and still look very polished. Adding a purse in the same color family, and I will have everything linked below, by the way. For the second work outfit, I choose to go with a button-down shirt, something super classic. adding Gaspard as a cardigan. This is a great way to add a pop of color and it looks super nice with the sleeves rolled up. I felt like the outfit needed a little bit more black to tie it all together, so I added a belt, some jewelry, something that matches the sweater as well. You know I love stacking that jewelry. to match a black purse. Moving on to the weekend. This is a pencil skirt for my spring capsule wardrobe, but this time I wanted to style it a little bit differently. I chose to wear it backwards again, but instead of wearing it closed all the way, I chose to open it in a V-shape. What I love about this is that the V actually stays like this all day so that you can showcase any backwards necklace you want to wear or any cool hairdo that you're wearing and it makes it look really beautiful. I'm adding some interest to the front. Changing up the shape of the outfit. And for a casual look, going with the flats. See how nice that looks with the V in the back? I think that's so beautiful. For the next weekend outfit, I wanted to go a little bit retro. I feel like Suzanne is a brand that is very 70s inspired. So I chose to go with a flare leg pair of jeans and the sweater. And just to bring up the flare a little bit, I chose to go with the snake ring booties again. 
I wanted to add a scarf to this outfit, so I folded a silk square scarf in half, rolled it up, and tied it around my neck. Originally, I was gonna wear the sweater with the buttons forward, but I felt like that was a little bit too much. The buttons were competing with the scarf, and I didn't like it, so I chose to wear it backwards. But let me know in the comments below which one you like better. I did mention that I had a little bit of sizing issues with this sweater. I originally ordered off of the size chart and that recommended a size medium and that ended up being way too big. That was in my spring capsule wardrobe video in case you missed it. So I ended up going with a size extra small, small, and I ended up getting the extra, extra small and that was the one that fit the best. There's still a smaller size, which I think I could have fit into, but it really depends on how you like the fit. Here's everything facing forwards. So let me know in the comments below, which one do you like best? Let's go on a date, shall we? Starting with a more casual outfit. Here I'm wearing the basic pair of gray jeans and a silk cami from my collaboration with Lily Silk and black accessories to tie the look together. I think this is a super sexy and super casual outfit. I went with the booties and silver jewelry. And then I added the gas part as a layer. I think this is a very casual look, something that I would wear to go to the movies or like an easy dinner out. Something that looks cute, but you're still comfortable and it's still gonna keep you super warm because the sweater is so warm, you guys. You could tie it at the front, you could not. That's really dealer's choice. And for a fancier date, I chose to bring back this leopard print shiny pencil skirt, which is one of my favorites. I think this would be a look that would be better for either a birthday party or a fancier dinner. And I chose to style the sweater a little bit off the shoulder for a like, sexier, edgier look. It did take a little while to tuck it so that it didn't look bunched up inside the skirt. I'm not going to lie, but once you get it in, it looks very nice. The same purse as before, but we're removing the chain and we'll use it as a clutch. Let me know, do you like the cardigan off the shoulder look? Leave me a comment below. This ended up being one of my favorite ways to style the sweater, even though the scarf isn't even mine. I actually borrowed it for this video from my boyfriend's mom. So thank you, Rose, so much for letting me borrow this scarf. And as you can see, the gas part is an incredibly versatile sweater. And these are just a few ways that you can style it. I actually showed way more in my spring capsule combinations video, which if you haven't seen already, I will leave it linked for you here so that you can check it out next. And if you did like this video, it would mean so much to me if you give it a big thumbs up. And if you share it with a friend who has a cardigan that they might be able to style in more than one way. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern.